Hi! I'm here to film a hair tutorial using the, let's see what, <laughs> T3 World Trio Interchangeable Styling Wand. That's a mouthful. And I'm going to be using the one inch straight barrel. It also comes with the one and a half inch straight barrel and a one and a quarter inch tapered to three quarter inch barrel right here. And it features a swivel cord. It can do, I think I want to say five different heat settings. Yeah, five different heat settings. And you just do that by, let's see if you can see that right there. Uh, double clicking here, it's blinking. So now I can adjust it if I want it on first. I'm gonna put it four right here. Uh, I don't think I need that much heat, but I'm just gonna hold it on there for um, a short amount of time. So I think it'll be fine. And we'll see how that works. And I'm gonna start by putting some of this texture spray in my hair. It's also a heat protectant, or so it says on the bottle. Okay. And normally I don't section off my hair. I have pretty thick hair, but um, because I'm using a smaller barrel today than I would normally use, I'm going to section off the very top of my hair here. Take a little section right there, and I think I brush through about each time. And you can use a heat glove if you're still kind of new to this. If not, you know, you can go ahead and risk it, like me. Okay. And I like to curl away from my face on each side, and I don't alternate. Okay, so you're gonna hold that for just a few seconds. Let it cool on your hand for just a couple seconds. Um, maybe just a little spritz of spray. A little hairspray, and I'm using the Joico K-Pack Protective Hairspray. And the key is to use a flexible hold and shine spray. I don't like, um, like extreme hold hairsprays because they just kind of make your hair crunchy. And I take pretty big sections, but I kind of like hold it a little bit higher. Um, I don't know if that's like makes sense, but so I don't like hold it low where I kind of bring the hair up when I do it. And I think that makes a big difference on how they come out. Okay. And I'm only holding for a few seconds because um, I'm doing kind of a higher heat setting right now. And I will say that this curling iron heats up extremely fast. I want to say like it heated up to the full heat setting in under a minute, honestly. I just walked away, came back, and it was already ready to go. And it has an auto shut off too, so if you leave the house like me, before you turn it off, it'll turn off for you, which is nice. Because I always feel like it damages my heating tools um, to be left on all day, you know? Can't be good for it. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little spritz. And this curling iron, I believe retails on most websites for $270. And that comes with the base and the three barrels. I've been wanting this curling iron for forever, and it is um, kind of a pricier curling iron, but so far it has not disappointed. You know, it heats up super quick, has lots of different heat settings, the different barrels, which takes up, you know, less room in your bathroom and also like, when you travel, which is nice. I'm going to kind of brush them out anyways, so I'm not too worried about them looking perfect. I like kind of more of a natural wavy curls. And when you get close to the face, it's kind of nice. I mean, this is, you know, an acrobat move right here. But to kind of lean it forward towards your face, if that makes sense. Like you're curling away, but you're leaning there and towards you. Just hold that for a 
for a second. It's hot. I definitely do not need to have it at this heat setting, even um, only holding it for a few seconds. I think I can go down to the third heat setting. So I'm kind of holding it towards my face again. This is kind of hard to do, but if you can see. I'm just gonna very pretty so far. Oh, okay. Brought half my curls with me. I'm just going to brush the room. And I have some breakage on my hair, as you'll probably notice. I mean, not only because, you know, I have my hair dyed or balayaged, but you know, I realize I wear my hair in a ponytail a lot when I sleep to keep my hair on my face and also when I go to the gym. So I tried to, you know, start changing some of those habits um, by braiding my hair at night instead of putting it up in a ponytail when I go to sleep. And I like, I've been liking that because not only does it, you know, keep my hair on my face and prevent um, some breakage, but it also gives me some nice waves when I wake up in the morning. Which on days when you don't want to style your hair, it's kind of nice to have a little something going on as far as texture. And you want to notice where I bring the curling iron up to. So I'm not bringing it all the way to the root, I'm bringing it about eye level when I curl these. been very quick I feel like I mean especially for having it's being such a narrow barrel I mean I can get through with my hair pretty quick with a, a larger barrel but for this size I'm very impressed so far how long it's taken I'm gonna do a bigger section right here just because let's try it out let's see how it looks and then if not I can always go back and um, do it in two separate sections And just so you know, if you haven't felt this curling iron, it feels very nice and luxurious. Um, it definitely does not feel cheap. It feels worth the money. It's a very pretty color. The material feels really nice. I think it's like a mixture of... I don't know, actually. But you can look it up. And if my hair looks like it's smoky, it's just really just evaporation. Um, I showered earlier and I blow dried my hair for the most part, but obviously there's still a bit of moisture in my locks right now. It's, I mean, it doesn't feel damp, but clearly there's still some moisture in there. And you'll notice I'm pretty inconsistent as far as like, you know, some curls I hold, some curls I don't. I don't think it needs to be so strict and rigid as long as it comes out how you want it. Okay. Now, 
be done. Just kidding. Okay, let's finish hair spraying up. I don't want to get this hair spray all over my clothes. Oh, my robe. Okay, now this is cute. And you could just start, um, I mean, in all honesty, I would really let this sit for a while. I would, you know, do my makeup and while, while it stays in this nice curl formation. But since my makeup's already done, let's just pull your fingers through it. And I normally brush with the bigger, um, when I curl my hair with the bigger wand, I usually kind of lightly brush through it. But since it's kind of smaller, a smaller barrel, ooh, see what happened there? Okay, we need to, we need to reduce. Well, at least this one. I think the rest are fine. I think just going through it with your fingers looks pretty nice, actually. I'm digging this. I haven't had my hair like this, like with this um, style of curl in a while, so this is really nice. I'm just gonna kind of leave that one chilling. Let's see, let me flip. Okay, what do you guys think? Is this cute? I mean, I can't see, so let me know. I'm liking it though, and I bet um, since it's a tighter curl, it'll stay really well overnight. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, I enjoyed doing this. It was very quick. Uh, my hair still feels super healthy.